Gradients can be used in Photoshop in many ways. Now, another way of using the gradients is via the image and adjustments and gradient map option. So I'm just going to go to the gradient map, basic gradient map. Now, defaults to current gradient. So I'm just going to go through the gradients here. These are from graphicextras.com, pack two set, but you could use any GRD file. So I'm just going to go load a different selection, load gradient, and just going to go down there. GRD, complement colors, it's pack three. Create very unusual color effects in seconds just by applying the gradient map. Also, you can reverse the effect if you wish. So, click OK there. Of course, you can always go to the edit menu and fade gradient map. So, just go over there. And you can, of course, change the difference mode to blending mode. So, if you want to go through those, hard light, soft light, so on and so on. So, you can just create very unusual color effects in seconds just using a standard gradient and the gradient map tool. Again, so I'll go through that quickly. So just open image adjustments and gradient map. So you can just go and select another gradient there. Now there's another way to apply this gradient map and that's go via the window, layers, just go up there, and this little bit down here. And there's an option for an adjustment map layer gradient map so you can just apply that so that's just applied and that's it so now the original image is still unaffected so that's one thing beauty of the gradient map so that you could of course modify and change the underlying picture without actually still still keeping the gradient map untouched obviously the effect would change depending on the actual underlying source file. So just going to apply a blur or whatever. Of course, I could always delete the gradient map. That's the next thing. Delete. 